Okay, we're already off to a good start. This hand is not as loose as the last one, where it's just enough to trick me into keeping it. Uh, this hand looks fine. Not great, just fine. Ooh, Let's see how this matchup is. I don't have uh, Pontiff main, so that might be an issue. This hand is pretty fast, though. I like that. Let's do some math. So I can cord for one on my next turn. Which might be good enough. Cord for Seer. Then I'd witness back. Okay, I don't have to race a particularly fast clock this game. Okay. Yeah, that is going to be good enough. So I go wall. Probably fetch land. Birds. Um, at some point on my opponent's turn, I'm going to fetch. I have to do some math on what I fetch. Um, okay. I don't know if infinite life is actually even enough here. Or I guess with Seer it is because it's crying to whatever it is. Um, so I fetch a black basic swamp here. Short of the full on infinite here, but we're getting pretty close. Pretty sure this is the opponent doesn't have any interaction. I kill them thing. It actually, I have to do some counting. There's a chance I get to, um, depending on what I draw, I get to rebuy cord. That's fine. Oh, I can cord for Malira to protect from the Nexus. That's fine. Rather than Anafenza. That's actually less clicks, so that's strictly better. Not blocking. Does that change anything? I don't think it does. Oh wow, this actually is enough. That's pretty sweet. So, yeah, I just go off of my opponent's upkeep for infinite life with Malira.
my gosh, this stack display is atrocious. Yeah, this is uh, what I like to kind of refer to as a Conley Woods game based off our testing for Pro Tour Valencia, um, where Conley would just like every game with cord manipulate these absurd board states where this kind of nonsense happened every game, basically. Um, that should do it. The only question is if I want to gain more life, but I think I'm good. Because I can gain infinite in response anyways. And then reestablish the loop if my opponent draws a removal spell. I think I want to do this and leave up company just because I can. Opponent is claiming they F6 the win. I don't. I don't know how my opponent would have won last turn. I, I don't think they know what Malira does. Anyways, Kataki, great. Path to Exile, fine. Pontiff and Rex Sage, absolutely excellent. Spike Feeder and Archangel, definitely off the team again. Uh, Ooze seems like the next worst card. And do I really need path here? I like my other cards a lot. It's probably really good to have path. Maybe I board out like one. An no, Anafens is probably. Yeah, I board out one. Wall of Roots is pretty important because you're actually racing and the mana matters. Verils is actually quite bad here. Don't really want the secondary sack outlet. Not going to grind anyone out with uh, good old Goyf uh, scavenges. This looks like an average Malira hand. I think I just get all basics. Not because I care about Blood Moon, but just because I don't want to take damage. My opponent's dumped out a lot of cards and hasn't produced a threat. So that's a good sign for this one Abrupt Decay hand. So I've got black, black, white, white. Marsh Flats just has to get another green source somehow. These th snow lands are just throwing me off every time I fetch. My opponent's draws have been not terrible. Opponent's draw right now is not the best against Kataki, but I don't. It's pretty bad against uh, Abrupt Decay, too. Had it. <laughs> Gosh. I think this is better than Decay here. 
I'm not sure though. I didn't really think too hard about it. I there's just got to be some amount of value to doing this, just in terms of like pure tilt on my opponent's part. Plus, I think that um, even if I take a single hit here, I'm probably okay. Yeah, my opponent can only keep three things, basically. So I'm going to take a hit probably to out of... it. Well, with the things in hand, definitely out of um, single uh, Galv Blast range. Which probably out of double. The, the things being what puts me out of double. So if I had to guess the spring leaf drum... Oh man, this is sweet. Yeah, my phone is gonna keep plating Vault Scourge and probably Dark Seal Citadel. Can't imagine keeping the Mox Opal. <laughs> oh my gosh dude I'm just, I'm just like is this like still funny is it just a, is it just like sad I don't really man I think I just play a three drop here so I can deploy two drop, three drop next turn. Just kill the creature. Force my opponent to uh, pay for the plating every turn and land another creature with the plating in play and then get an abrupt decay afterwards. Whereas in theory, the creature could like chip shot me out into trap last range. Well, this certainly is a draw to this deck. This card is definitely worse than it's been in the past against Affinity, but it's quite good. Um, funny story time. A friend of mine was playing Affinity in a PTQ and Extended way back in the day. And uh, his opponent just like turned to Kotaki to him. He's just like... Oh, Gosh, great. Like, they're playing some Boros deck from whatever season that was. And, like, they kind of, like, managed to get through a turn. Their opponent just, like, really smugly on taps. And they're like, yeah, I got this. And they just slam another Kataki. A friend just kind of sits there, stares, picks up both of the Katakis under the old legend rule, puts them in my opponent's graveyard. They went on to... I don't know if they won that PTQ, but they did top eight it. I think that match was playing for top eight. And no need to witness here. We don't actually want random crappy card. Plus it's a power less than the Finx. Sad robot hat sitting on the shelf waiting for someone to come pick it up. Oh, wow, we bin the uh, Citadel? Yeah, that had to have been a mistake.
I just keep like so this bird tap thing is something that I've uh, gotten really big on the last year and a half or so where um, the scenarios like specifically with Kiki Pod I learned about this where if you were to tap your creature for mana or leave your creature up uh, and they kill it you could like lose access to your spell in the right way I don't think it really matters in this game uh, I almost right click attacked with all no, you you stay home Oh man, I can abrupt decay my own creature and then get it back with Witness and trigger Rex Age again? How lucky. Think of the value. Well, that match certainly made it look easy. <laughs> 